Hello, I'm Richard Chambers, and welcome to A View from the Audit Trail, where I discuss topics relevant to internal audit professionals at all levels. We've all been there and interview for a job we really want. We feel good about how it's going. Positive attitude, check. Making a connection, check. Great answers, check. But then the tables are turned and the interviewer asks, what questions do you have for me? We knew it was coming, but it still can be unsettling. Do we have a question prepared? Do we stumble for something off the top of our head? Do we freeze up? As an interviewer, I often learned as much about the strengths of the applicant by the questions they ask as by the answers they gave. First, don't say you have no questions. That goes even if you think you already have the job in the bag. It could hint that you're disinterested or worse, that you came unprepared. Which brings me to how to be prepared. First, be flexible. I encourage you to jot down a few questions ahead of your interview. But don't be afraid to shift gears, especially if your questions have already been answered or the conversation spawns better ones. Don't act like a bot. Be engaged. Also, don't hesitate to be specific. Show your knowledge and experience and that you're invested in getting this particular position and organization. Those tips apply to any job, but what exactly might you ask in an internal audit interview? Assuming the interview includes the chief audit executive, consider these questions. Where does internal audit report functionally and administratively, and how would you describe the relationship with each? Those might not seem like appropriate questions from a prospective staff member, but they are. This goes to the heart of internal audit's independence, and the response will provide a peek into the culture of the organization. Number two, will I have the opportunity to audit diverse risks in the organization? What makes internal audit attractive as a career is the potential diversity of the assignments. Of course, you don't want to come off as demanding or inflexible. Consider phrasing the question to accentuate one of your strengths or show your interest and or growth. Speaking of growth opportunities, here's a third question you might ask. Does internal audit provide assurance and advice? Assurance is important for internal audit, but providing advice enables a focus on the future. If you'll be locked into only assurance, you should know that now. Fourth, how does internal audit use technology now, and what does that look like in a few years? The answer will signal just how agile and progressive the internal audit function is. But tread carefully and make sure you have a fair knowledge of internal audit solutions used by leading internal audit functions. Finally, consider asking this. If you could improve the perception of internal audit in the organization, what would you most like to change? This might make the conversation a little uncomfortable, but a strong CAE will readily acknowledge the opportunities for internal audit and appreciate your vision. There are many questions you can ask both during and at the end of an interview. The key is to show you're prepared and engaged. This is a chance to impress the interviewer and also to gain insight into potential opportunities that might await you. For a view from the audit trail, I'm Richard Chambers.